unfortunately, some people see a lot of corruption, which is out there, absolutely. There's corruption in our medical system. And another motivation for things to not be in your best interest when it comes to medical is the Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evil. And the medical industry at large and the pharmaceutical companies, there, there's so much money in these major corporations, in these society, even the, the American medical uh, society, those, the, the, um, the AMA, and, and these places that, that will even put out research and they're supposed to be you know, watchdogs and everything. There's, there's so much corruption that you read about in many of these areas, it's gonna give you doubts. And here's the thing, it should give you a justified reason to investigate. But it doesn't mean that everything is bad either. You just have to be able to look at things carefully and appropriately to determine what's going on. I mean, there's, there's so much now that has been screwed up in the medical industry in this country coming from many different directions. You've got people having frivolous lawsuits to just getting tons of money for stuff where people aren't liable. Now all of a sudden doctors and medical practitioners have to do X, Y, and Z because of bureaucracy and red tape and, and because they're worried about covering themselves from getting these frivolous lawsuits that ultimately may not be the best advice for you, but they have to do all this stuff because otherwise they're going to lose a bunch of money. There's you know, for example, I mean, we, we dealt with that firsthand when it came to our childbirthing with, with a midwife in Arizona. There's all this, these hands are tied and all these different things. And well, no, you have to have, if this much time goes by, then you have to have this type of intervention and you have to, you know, you have to be transferred to a hospital and they have to do the C-section stuff. And it's like, look, no, no, that there's, there's actually competing ideas on, on these procedures and when they ought to be done and when it's appropriate. And it's not just all standardized and just one person gets to say, well, nope, this is what the book says, so this is what you have to do. You know, we ought to have the freedom to be able to um, choose what's right. But you see, in order to do that, you have to get educated. And we need to be able to look at things from the biblical standpoint, from a creation standpoint, and, and make the decisions for ourselves. Now, there's two types of physicians that are mentioned in Scripture. Job 13.4, Job was speaking, he says, But ye are forgers of lies, you're all physicians of no value. We have to understand, first of all, there are physicians out there that are of no value. There are people that are just no good at their job. Now, this goes beyond just physicians. This could go into any area. And I'm going to be drawing some correlations between mechanics and physicians, right? Because there's going to be some similarities in both industries because first of all, we have to understand that people are people. Whether you're a neurosurgeon or an auto mechanic, people have the same sin nature and are capable of committing the same types of sins and having the same failures as people, right? Now, you say, well, one's more educated than the other. Yeah, but they're still both going to have a lust and potential to fall to greed equally. There are physicians of no value, but you know what? There's also someone like Luke who's called the beloved physician. The Bible does not say that physicians are bad. Now, first of all, I just want to get rid of this notion because there's some people that get so spiritual, so religious, they say, well, I just don't ever go to the doctor. I don't think anyone should go to the doctor and doctors are bad. No, doctors aren't bad. There's not. There's plenty of physicians that are good. Luke was a beloved physician. Jesus even said, they that be holding not a physician, but they that are sick. You know what that means? There are some people that need a physician. The people who are sick need a physician. And there's nothing wrong with that. And it's a good thing. And absolutely, they need a physician. There's, there's, that's what they're there for. When you need a physician because you're sick, go to one. But we shouldn't have this concept or this idea of saying, like, no, because there's some people out there that'll say, you know, I'm never going to a doctor. I'm only going to just pray and rely on God and just never go to a physician. And that's not right. And that's not true. That's, that's, not, that's not even a biblical concept. Now, we should be going to God, absolutely. And I'm going to get into that a little bit later, but we need to understand that 
One, the reason why you don't take everything that physicians say as gospel truth, just every, no matter what they say, I'm just going to believe it, is because they're human and they could be wrong on things. And because you may be dealing with someone that, even if they are sincere, may not be very good at their job. I don't know about you, but I brought my car to people who I think were very good people to work on. I told you, I make correlations between mechanics and physicians that may have been very sincere in trying to find a problem, but just weren't very good at their job and spend a lot of money trying to figure out like, well, oh, wait, that wasn't it. Maybe it's this. Oh, maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. And trying to figure out and diagnose what's wrong with the vehicle. There's people that, it's funny, you find these things out later. There's people I've gone to high school with. And I find out after, you know, however many years, there's like some reunions coming up. and like, oh, what's this person doing? What's that person doing? There's people that become doctors that I would never want to go see as a doctor because I didn't ever think they were really that bright. Honestly, I just didn't, they just didn't seem to be very intelligent people. Now, they, maybe they were able to pass some tests, but there's a lot of people are able to pass tests and get through, and get through school. And it doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to be that good at their job.